I want to grow my own shit. Is the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama, DC Fama show. Is the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama. Shay! Used to get my piece from AZ. Mary Jane is the case that they gave me. Trace from the West Coast, stop real fast. DC Fama show the masses how to grow grass. No till the method be attentive, slow learner. The raw sheets turn that gas to a slow burner. Big worm got the strains in variety. Jeff Sessions trying to fuck up the society. Cannabis community, rise up, eyes up. Fight for your right to light or eyes shut. Loud from the motherland. I'm getting high in stadium. Super gas, no clone, it grown with vibranium. Try coke chasers, cancel of the grow up. Self sufficiency, that's how we need our smokers. Alien dream, turn girl scouts into soldiers. Smoking those Contact if you come closer. Every Monday, 10 to 11 p.m. Focus on that grow, watch the show with your BM. Comedy bud, interviews, real lit. The DC Fama show, educate real shit. The DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama show. It's the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama show. It's the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama show. It's the DC Fama, the DC Fama, the DC Fama show. Welcome to another episode of the DC Farm Show. Just finished taking a dab, y'all, so excuse me. <laughs> Running in from Tab Alley. Got my co-host right here, Big Worm. How's it going? All right, man. Got a little hot real quick. Yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed the little video of the of the Denver trip. Um, man, Denver Botanical Gardens was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, a lot bigger than our Lewis Ginter. I got Lewis Ginter down in the Richmond area. Um, 
I haven't been to the DC Botanical, so I don't know how it compares to that one. Um, but it was it was large and very nice. Yeah, man, I seen I seen that you posted and I seen you went to Denver. Had a hell of a time. I, I, I could imagine you had a hell of a time. Uh, now, um, I take it you visited a couple of um, the dispensaries and stuff, right? We had about a little dispensary tour, if you will. Uh, see, last time I went out, when I went to Portland, I, I kind of made a mistake, I think. I just bought some quarters, man. I was like, give me a quarter of that, give me a quarter of this. <coughs> that was a mistake. So this time... We got grams of everything. Right, right. And then we just rolled up. All right, all right let's roll up a pre-roll of this one. Let's roll up a pre-roll of that one. Um, I did get the Welly, the Willie Nelson Reserve pre-rolls. Those were real nice. Um, I will say, uh, but the packaging, man, he's got like, you get this much packaging for two little joints up in there. Like, it's like a big, <laughs> this big tube within a tube. And they went all out on yeah. the market, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, all right, uh, so look. Before we get into all that, you know, because we're gonna talk about every all that as well, especially that right there. Um, this week, uh, this week's show, we we got a, a guest with us today. Um, we're gonna bring him on a little le- a little later on, um, at Dean Pooper, and he's gonna talk to us more about the um, march for um, for dog for bully bread um, on DC and in DC. I mean downtown, and it's gonna be held on May the twentieth. I, I let him talk to you more about that but I think it's a good cause and that's what I want to talk about that's why I brought him on today so we can speak about it because I really really think it is a good cause um you know shouldn't know one particular breed of animal animal be targeted period so either way it goes we're gonna be talking about that today we do have a giveaway today and that's the MJ Arsenal's uh Roly um bubbler which is uh the the original Roly Bubbler and I also it's called the Martian and then the um the Merlin which is the uh mini rig bundle pack that's also going out tonight. I don't have it here to show to y'all cuz it didn't show up in the mail today like it was supposed to at the post office. Uh I, I think Trump the made him mad. I don't know. But <laughs> there's a lot of uh, storms this weekend. Yeah, so uh I, I it should be definitely be here by tomorrow. But whoever wins it tonight, just know that I will be mailing it off to y'all for sure. So it's still going down tonight. <clears throat> Matter of fact, go ahead and put the number up there, man, so we get this show rolling for real, for real. Um, 202-618-9399. 202-618-9399. I need to know if my girl cut the damn number on. <laughs> but uh, I got my man Stoner going to look for... What's called? What, what, what call are we gonna do today? Twelve. Caller number twelve, y'all. Stoner, now nah, you can't get. <laughs> Look, Stoner was already on it, y'all. <laughs> yeah, the number worked. That was Stoner calling, but he's gonna be taking y'all call. But you can't have more than my dabs. Welcome. You know, caller number up. twelve, y'all. Uh. You want me to go ahead and talk about the other giveaway while we're doing this? Yes, please do. Please so, do, because that's another thing we got to talk about tonight, which is, man, that's a hell of a giveaway. Yeah, so we want to make the announcement. Go ahead and tell them what's going nah, on. you tell them. This is all on you right, right here. This is so, your puppy. So basically, you know, we're going to have a big giveaway. It's going to be a six-week giveaway because, unfortunately, we got some life changes, exciting life changes for myself. Um, I got a job as a full-time ag teacher down in VA, so... Because I'm going to be working with students. I'm going to be stepping off the stage here with my man, Farmer. But to go out in style, I want to make sure somebody out there has a Chapin 1949 sprayer. Um, and the way it works is at some point during the show tonight, I'm going to put a link up. And I'm going to tell you that it's live. It's going to stay live for about 15 minutes. You're going to be able to click on the link and go put in your name for an entry. Um, you can enter one show between now and the last show. So a total of six times. The link will only be live for that certain amount of time. If you click on it another time, it won't work. So that's the way that's going to work. So someone out there is going to win a nice sprayer. And uh, and then, and then the, I, I wish we had a picture to show them, but people that do the uh, that's grow cannabis and gardens have you. They know what the chaplain is, and the ones that don't, you want it. Trust me, you want it. This is this is beautiful. To have to use as an IPM and a foliar spray regimen in your garden. It's a must-have. So you don't want to miss out on this one. Look it up online if you need to. Yeah, check it Chaplin out. Chaplin 1949. Chaplin 1949. Look it up online if you need to. At some point between now and the six weeks, you will actually see the picture. Yeah, we got on Instagram right we'll, now. Check we'll it have out. it together. But trust me, 
enter every time you watch the show. Just enter. Listen out for when he tells you to um, sign up or whatever the case may be. But at the end of those six shows, we're going to draw a winner. So you don't want to miss out on this one. It's a good one. So, epic giveaway for the sprayer. And, and the sprayer, I mean, it's, it's going to last a lifetime. It's made to last a lifetime. Everything on it, you know, is replaceable. You know, it's all brass. The hose is nice. But, again, anything you can order each part. So if a certain part goes bad, you order that. Um, you know, I'm hard on equipment. I do admit that. And this thing is held up for a whole year. It looks as good as it did the first time. So it's it's real nice. Um, I couldn't be more happy with it. So. Nah, that's definitely what's up, man. The last like, spray like you'll ever need. Miss out. What's going on with everybody in the chat, man? Thank y'all for coming through today for sure. And um, I also meant to say I wanted to have my Tricone Chaser fam, that whoever could make it today, if you can, if you're on here on the chat, let me know you want to be on, and we'll um, take care of it from there because the way my studio works is actually a little bit different than um, Google Hangout straight out, so... We could get you on there like it's Google Hangout, but you just need to let me know you want to be on there. We take it from there, y'all. So if you're on, if you try a cone chaser fam and you want to be on the panel tonight, let me know in the chat for sure. <clears throat> and also, uh, what we was talking about? Uh, yeah, the weekend we was talking about um, Denver. Yeah, so we, I went out there for the um, the DGC Cup, the Dude Grows show. Um, if you don't check it out, you know, check out the Dude Grow show on YouTube. Um, you know, I've been listening to them for years, man. I, I love listening to him. I got to meet Scotty Real. Um, he's starting some no-till growing out there. Um, it was a real cool format for him. I feel like we could do something like that here with growers. So what they did was, you know, you paid an entry fee. You came in. They gave you a little chill em, you know, a little one-hitter. Mm -hmm. um, and they had, like, I think it was close to 30 different strains. And you would just go up there and tell them you wanted to try it. They would pack it up for you. And you got like four or five tokens. So after you tried all the different strains, you voted on the ones that you like. You put the token in a little jar. And you got to try all the different strains as much as you wanted. Pretty cool. It was like an all-you-can-eat cannabis buffet, Yeah, huh? pretty much. <laughs> but, yeah, you can hit on that, man. Let's smoke on that. See, how, see, so this is a CBD dominant. So I'm interested to see how you feel from it. I don't know. You did just take them dabs. So you're probably going to tell one from the other. But Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um... Shit. Yeah, this so this tested, um, this is the Midnight Express, uh, this tested CBD dominant with the Farmer Freeman's uh, testing. So I'm going to send it to Steve Hill here soon. I just jarred it up today. So we're going to send it to Steve Hill and get them get some numbers on it. Okay, that's so cool. So it should be high CBD to TAC ratio. So now I also heard you um, bumped into a few C's out there. I did, man. I met a... Um, Really cool guy, um, the Brothers Grimm Seed Company. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Soul, um, he was the inventor of uh, Cinderella 99. Um, so I picked up some Cinderella 99 seeds, nice uh, sativa dominant. Um, he said it loves being scrogged. You can abuse it. It's, it's, it's a real nice plant to grow. He said it's very stable. You know, he's been had it for a while now. Right, right. Um, picked up some um, Palpentine, I think is what, you know. Yeah, Death Star across the grandpa's breast. That's gonna be a heavy Enica. Um, uh, that's a sativa dominant. And then we got we got uh, Hell's Angel OG cross with uh, something that's a sampler. That's a hardcore Enica. I like the name on now. Yeah, and then um, they, everybody, if you bought seeds, they give you samplers automatically. So the the Brothers Grimm, they gave me a something Cinderella ninety nine. He had crossed with some land race that he was messing with that hadn't been re hadn't been released anything yet. So. Okay. Who knows? But you, you know, that's kind of neat. You know what I mean? I feel yeah, like you're yeah. into like the, um, in your own little little pheno hunt on some stuff no one's got. You know, J Rock. God <laughs> damn, dude, my ass to cut J Rock off. <laughs> <laughs> J Rock. Okay, look, I just been informed. Right. I, I don't know what's going on. I got to switch my shit up. I just been informed that J Rock won again, y'all. God damn. <laughs> J Rock's the win again. This dude, man, go play the lottery, man. Let me get about 5% of that one. But uh, J Rock, you the winner again. That's going to um, ship out to you ASAP. As soon as I touch it in my hand, you're going to get it. So congratulations and enjoy. Definitely enjoy. Um, and for y'all, man, that don't know, man, the um, National Cannabis Fest. Coming up, 21st. Coming up, 21st. 
Coming right on up. So if you could make it, up. if you could make it, if all the hotel rooms ain't booked up and all that yet, get down here. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be some fire. I heard Dab and Granny going to be out here. What? Yeah, I hope I bump into her. Oh, we got her to come. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I hope I could bump into her. Because, hey, that, 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 she wild, boy. She, she wild. If that's that how she like, really, oh, oh. if that's how she really, <laughs> yeah. If that's how she really is, I need to give me a dance with um Dab and Granny, man. <coughs> for sure. <laughs> Off the chain, man. Yeah, man. So, uh, it, it's going to be a blast out here, man. It's going to be all, look. Not only is the National Cannabis event going to be going on, but just af- even afterwards, it's going to be so many events and so much happening in the city, man, this weekend. You don't want to miss out, y'all. So if you can make it, if you're from out of town, if you're in town, if you're around town, make sure you come through and have a blast, man. And also, uh, what a, uh, I keep cutting you off, man. We be talking about weed and shit. It's all good. <laughs> But uh, you get anything going with the? Uh, I, no, I, I had a question for you though. Yeah, and that, that's what it is. Now you got your medical card, right? Yes. So w- was you able to use that at the dispensaries in, in Denver, or did they uh, even ask you for that shit? Yeah, unfortunately, in Colorado, they are not. Uh, they don't have uh, reciprocity. I think that's what they call it with the other states. Mm-hmm. So it didn't matter. You have to be a, a Colorado resident. You have to be a resident to be to get uh, the medical there. Okay, but other than that, you could get whatever else you wanted. Right. Um, and the only real limitation um, I saw, you know, there's definitely probably some uh, limitations on the amount you can get per day. Like we could get an ounce per day, which equated also to eight grams of concentrate or a certain amount of edibles. That's an ounce um, at each spot or whatever location you went to. Though, right? I, I think it probably really is because they said they were tracking it, but then he said it wasn't really tracked. So. Yeah, so yeah, they scan yeah. your ID, but he said it, it wasn't like, I don't think it was like a database. I don't think that some central database in Colorado saw that I bought some stuff at this dispensary and then bought some stuff at that dispensary. I think they're just making sure I am who I say I am kind of deal. But So, so how do you feel about the uh, quality and pricing? So the quality, there with they, they definitely had three different grades. There's probably really four different grades. So they, the top shelf is what we messed with. Um, that was uh, 75 a quarter. Um, before tax. before tax, taxes brought it up to like ninety seven, ninety five. So good twenty dollars. I mean, it's they're taxing the hell out of it. Mm, I mean, they're that's definitely where they getting all that, that money from. Yeah, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're definitely taxing the hell out of it. Now it was cool. Um, selection, unlimited. I mean, just awesome selection. If you live there, a lot of the dispensaries had on the board who grew what. So if you wanted to follow a certain grower, you could do that. That's cool. Um, it was all kinds of stuff like that. So it was, yeah. it's so different. Um, even the, the feel of the scene was much different. It was much more relaxed. Um, maybe one or two people with dab rigs versus, you know, D.C. Everybody would have a dab rig. <laughs> um, one person rolling blunts, a blunt, you know what I mean, versus everybody else who's had raw papers out there. A lot Shit, of so many people up. do dab rigs out here. I thought it was the norm Mary where the hell else. Nah. So it ain't like that? Nah. nah. It's new to us. So everybody, it's new. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So before the people came from West and saw that bitch, what do we call it? Man, shit. I ain't trying to be funny, but not unless you heard it from a craghead. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't trying to be funny and shit, man. But yeah, you, we really didn't, you know. Yeah, yeah, we really, you know what I'm saying? Like, just up to a few years ago, man, DC was still underground, man, for sure. So, you know, a lot of a lot of the shit that the West Coast didn't already experienced, we haven't yet or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I was asking about, you know, the quality pricing, because I know all that's going to play an effect out here. We'll see. I when wanna, everything actually comes to pass, you know what I'm saying? You know, our medical DC's medical program been around, but before Initiative 71, you it was only, I think it was three conditions. You had to be real close to dying. It was, yeah, so you could get a card, but it was, you you were on the way out. Because um, I, for a while, I looked at DC's medical program, and it was like, I, you know, it was like three conditions. Yes. Yeah. So, so now initiative seventy one like, opened then it up. You had to be damn near in the hospice, right, to get the goddamn right. medical. Treatment I think it was cancer, need. AIDS, or glaucoma, or wasting disease, or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was bad. You, had, yeah. you know, you were, you were down. 
Um, but Initiative 71 definitely opened the doors to everything. Yeah, man. That's so. why I say I always stress we got to keep pushing. I ain't going to preach tonight, but we definitely got to keep pushing. It opened the door. We just got to blow the door wide open, man, because they faking right now, man. So, but I will say this. So J-Rock brought up a good point if you want on the chat with the medical card, talking about taking gun rights. Um, in D.C., you can't have a firearm anyway, right? You can't. So You, you can have a gun license. A, so you can get a license? Yeah, that you just the, the process of getting one, yeah, it's very extensive. Gotcha. But you can't have a gun license. But you, In D.C., you're not allowed to carry. Um, what, what's it? Is it uh, yeah, carry and conceal. You gotcha. see what I'm saying? So, yeah, the gun laws out here is super, super strict. So, but yeah, some places they are. Okay, so if you get a card in DC, you cannot get a gun Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you basically, yeah. Yeah, they were arresting people and stuff. You know what? You know what? I wouldn't even mind, but in their ignorance, they're targeting the wrong fucking people. Someone that's smoking cannabis. To treat themselves, whether it's recreational or medical, I don't think you got to worry about them having no gun license because they ain't gonna be out there looking for anybody to kill, man. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? And, and what I'm saying to that is, like, for real, if if y'all could sell a gun meant for the military to an 18 year old kid, that's fucking crazy, man. That you can't sell it to a, a person that needs cannabis medically for them to be able to protect themselves in their own home. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm telling you, man. We got old people in, 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 in politics right now that we need to vote out, man. I, I mean, a lot of people won't believe me saying this shit, but we do need to vote some of these old geezers out of there, man, because they're not evolving with the time in hand. You know what I'm saying? And I we would. keep having these old draconian ass fucking laws and shit. I would shit. like to add to that. <laughs> If anybody has a chance to watch the Facebook interviews with some of our Congress people and how straight dumb they were about what an email or a text mm. message was or how to search on a Google, hey. it was bad. It was That's real what bad. That's exactly people, what man. you're talking about. I'm man. not telling you. Look, and when I'm not telling you go vote Democrat over Republican, do what you want to do. Just vote these old fuckers out the goddamn building, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Vote how you want to vote, but make sure they represent what you really believe in, man. We got some old people that's still doing it for their fucking pocketbooks, man. We need to get them out the door. For sure, we need to get them out the so, door. So we got the politics, man. You want to bring the guest on? Because that's definitely a political matter right there. Yeah, I, gonna talk see, about? yeah I guess that swung us into what we need to talk about. I mean, one of the few things we talk about, because... That's another bread. You know, that's something else that gets targeted. You got, the, you got any more family coming in tonight? I don't know. They usually just pop up, man. I don't, I don't, I tell you, my, my audience just usually pop up. I don't invite nobody. I don't really do too much of anything. They know what I'm doing right now. So I do have people, you know, if they lucky enough to catch what's going on, they lucky enough. If not, hey, light that joke up. This is, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what this weighed before the cannabis went in there, but it weighed 3.6 after. <laughs> So this is the, again, the Midnight Express. It definitely, it, it's, I, I've never, I've always wanted to smoke cannabis that smell like, like bubble gum, and this absolutely is like great bubble gum. So I'm excited about that. Um, hopefully it cures up nice and I don't, I don't mess it up. So, but right now, it smells real good. <laughs> mm. uh, but with, and with that being said, um, we're going to go ahead and um, invite our next guest, uh, guest on. At Dane Poop, and we're gonna talk about um, our topic for tonight, y'all. So come on up here and introduce yourself. Make sure you close, um, talk close to the mic too, because that don't be low. Welcome, welcome. Cool. What's going on, everybody? Uh, DC Rider, go by the name of Dane. A lot of people know me as I would few things, but I'm on here. So mainly talk about what's going on. May 20th. A lot of people don't really know, but it's getting ready to get put out there. So, so with that being some, said. You got some support in our chat, man. Taz Raw, Uncut Bullet Talk. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, man. But uh, we put together this awareness for all bulls, not just bullies. 
including pit bulls, uh, French bulldogs, American bulldogs, you name it, all type of bulls. I'm, but, glad, I'm glad y'all did it that way too, because you know a lot of people can't, di- especially nowadays with the breeding process. But a lot of people can't differentiate, differentiate you know, can't tell the difference anymore difference between, between one or the other. Right. So I'm glad y'all doing it that way as well too, man. Yeah, this will also give a lot of people their first, maybe some of their first time experiences they encounter an American bully, or maybe. This could be a chance where a lot of people can meet other breeders to get in contact, to do business with each other, to reach out. It's all about expanding. <coughs> in particular, uh, this really awareness is for the show people what these dogs are capable of. Like, they get stereotyped so much and never see the true potential of these dogs. They are loyal house dogs. They're great around kids. They're good for protection. They're good at service dogs. Intelligent. Uh, yeah. And I... Uh, I know a few people right now that have service dogs, and they are bullies, uh, summer pups, 10 months, 11 months, and I've been through the training. They ride the metro. They be on the, the train, the buses, and all that. No, I mean, definitely, man. You know, um, I I had to have you on because when I heard about it, I was like, yeah, this. I, I like this topic because, you know, I, me personally, I'm an American bull guy. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm in love with them. I always tell you this, anyways, man. But I'm in love with those breeds. But I just don't like, like, even with American bull, it's such a classic breed, right? So when I had my dog, I, I, it always was, oh, you got a big pit bull, or you got, ooh, ooh, oh, hold that dog away. Right. Fear of the dog, cause you actually didn't know what my well, dog right, was. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, and in, in anybody, anybody that knows about the American bull, man, they're softies, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, man? Right. They, you teddy can leave bears. them around. They, they of, big teddy bears, love. man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're not really, they're not harmless animals, man. I mean, harmful animals. They're not. Even with the bullies, man, they're not walking around looking to tear your arm off your shoulders, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the misbelief that we have out here. And our, our shelters seem to be booked up with these types of breeds, bullies, bullies, pit yeah. bulls. And all they are, they just wait in the line to get you using that. Right. And uh, another, like, this having, this is not new for the stereotype. And this has been around for years. Like, I break it down. I say the 70s, the, the Doberman Pinchers were the bad dog. Uh, in the eighties, it was the, the rocks. It still is, boy. Them right. motherfuckers, you can't run from them. Yeah, right? No, no, I ain't no getting away from them. <laughs> but in the uh, the eighties, it was the rocks, and then in the nineties, it was the pit bulls. And here we are in two thousand eighteen. They still getting stereotyped and still not being seen for what they are. But me, I've dealt with uh, plenty of. Different breeds of dogs. Uh, even down, I, my, actually, my third dog was Rottweiler, and they cool, but it's just some different things that I don't like about them that made me stick to the the bull breed. But this awareness is going to going to show a lot for for everything. You're going to see service dogs here. You're going to see uh, top of the line breeding dogs here. You now with this awareness on, on May the twentieth, is it open to everyone? Um, open to the public. All and they can bring their dogs. All dogs are welcome. We're reaching out to everybody. And also this is a positive movement. So like your dog has to be aggression controlled and we're not look bringing neg- no negativity here. No negativity whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So this right here is gonna open up a lot of eyes, a lot of eyes to people who might, who may even be thinking about getting into the bull. You know what I'm saying? Want to bring their dogs into their family. This is right here. This is what you need to see, because a lot of breeders is not gonna tell you all this. They just they tell you what the dog is, what what name it came from, what bloodline, and they just want your money. They not here to break it down, everything one by one piece. That's cool. That's cool. And then, and then I, uh, from what I hear, this is going to be down. Y'all starting then in the, at the monument, at right? At the monument. At the monument. May 20th, we start at 11 in the morning. So we're going to have a lot of people from a lot of time coming here. So it's going to be a lot of traffic. And, if, you know, around this time, we already have a lot of tours for the cherry blossom and all that. So it's going to be definitely a lot of traffic down there. Yeah, so definitely, definitely. Y'all, if anything, if you just want to show out just for that, to even see the cherry blossoms with your pets. Right. Bring your pets. <laughs> it's like the biggest park in the 
DC area. It was the monument. So bring your pets, have fun. It's going. I'm telling you, it, it, it's it's for a good cause, man. It's to bring awareness. <laughs> well, right? It's yeah, to bring yeah, awareness, awareness for the bullies. For bullies. And, um, right. or any kind of those breeds, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just a shame, man, that 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 we see a lot of these dogs. How 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 is it that a lot of these dogs end up where they end up sometimes? How what what, what is the cause of this? Bad owner. That, that's the answer to it right there. Bad owner or owner who didn't do their homework on the dog and don't know what comes with the dog. Because uh, a lot of it, and I see a lot of a lot of it where it actually comes from because having an uncontrollable dog, an unstable dog. And trying to have them out in an environment with other dogs. That's you know, I mean, your dog is not stable. You can't control your dog. That that's a solution. And then the main solution is of, to the owner not being. Let me see how I should break it down. The alpha dog and showing his dog that he's the more dominant. Need of the pack, yeah, huh? Right. So basically, if you're going to be scared of your dog eventually, this is not a dog that you would want to. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself into, but. If you're looking for a loyal house dog, somebody to be cool around the babies who just want to eat all the cookies off the floor and all that good stuff, you definitely want to get one. I'm telling you, you're missing out if you don't have one. <laughs> nah, definitely, definitely, man. It's, now, now, when the um, shelters get these dogs, right, are they automatically put on the list to be euthanized or are they given a chance to be fostered, fostered out? I'm glad you brought that up because I have. Before in high school, I worked at a uh, humane society. So at that humane society, when those particular dogs came in, they only gave them dogs 30 days. 30 so days. if no one came in and claimed that dog or came back to get that dog, the dog was not, well, no, I, I put that bread back. If the dog was over four months uh -huh. and no one came back and got him within 30 days, the dog would be euthanized. That particular breed. But when I, while I was working there, there were dogs that been there for three years plus, two years. There were dogs that done had puppies in there so that they really. kept. Yeah, and so it's it's very crazy how they, you know what I'm saying, do with the things they do and all the rights and all that. But like in some people in Maryland, like some police officers really press the issue out in Maryland, how you can't have them out there because of attacks that have happened out there due to poor ownership. Right, right, now. Nah. And so it, speak on that some more. So in Maryland, you can't you can't have a bully breed. Uh, particular, they want people who really let me see fully licensed to have your dog registered. Okay. through, you know what I'm saying, kennel clubs and all that. But like, but I thought at one point that it, I don't know if they changed the law or that, but at one point PG County in particular, you're not a, allowed to have yeah, pit bulls, pit bull, right? Yeah, that's some people, and that's how, that's what I'm saying. Like some police officers, if they really press the issue, right? Mm -hmm. Then they can, you know, take you to court and all that. Try to get and you that, evicted. Unfortunately, it's probably that. probable cause for whatever else they want to do on that right, day too. Because right, you know, right. of the but dog. that's horrible. I can't. I, I had no idea. Um, you know, I didn't know much about bully breeds until um, I owned my first pit bull. That pit bull got left at a grooming facility. Wow. Owner never came back. Um, it was a friend of the family came in with her. Um, she was a tan pit with a white. Diamond in her chest. Uh, the only things I learned was darn it, they don't think they're a lap dog all the time, right. no matter how big they are, and mm -hmm. that tail is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I deal with it every day. <laughs> but every yeah, day. I, I just day. I just think that you know they just definitely have a bad rap. But bad you rap. know any I think any dog could do that. Um, you know they're just big and powerful, so when people don't <laughs> treat them right. Right, you know they you do know, do right. damage when they do stuff. But then some people also <coughs> have these dogs for the wrong reason, but just particularly just to get into the the fighting and all the unnecessary stuff. But me, I'm into the dog because I have a passion for these dogs. I really love these particular animals, animals and that breed. That leads me to the next question too, man. Um, how did you and who else may have helped you come up with this concept and how did y'all put this together? You know, like, is it just you involved? Who else is involved with this, you know, like, that um, actually put this together? All right, the, uh, yeah, his uh, Instagram name is, is Lights Out uh, Bullies. And we also got uh, Cut and Made Kennels. Good people, good people. I guess we definitely got to shout them out for putting this together and I'm helping them get it out of there even more. Because I know, and 
understand the stereotyping situation and what the cause is for. So I'm definitely all in for it. Right, right. And that was uh, what kennels again? Cutter Made Kennels. Cutter Made Kennels. And Lights Out Bully. Y'all make sure y'all check them out on IG, man. Definitely, definitely. And, and like I said, and it's just not not just the bully breeds. If you have American bull, you have a pit bull, you have a bull terrier, you have a French bull, English bull, bring them whatever. Any of those bull lines that you have, bring your dog out for a good time, man. You know, introduce some new, some new friends, man. <laughs> One of them Most might get definitely. lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, Both definitely. you know, we are a cannabis show. Have you... Um, I know, I know our personal, we don't have a bully breed. Um, it's a lab, uh, excuse me, a hound mix, but, uh, he loves cannabis, <laughs> seeks it out, can smell it. We'll eat edibles with cannabis in it, but I didn't know, have y'all used, oh, uh, man. low dose cannabis for any of your older dogs? Have you done anything? You made uh, dog treats for them? Um, no, nah, not at all. But this is, that was the first time I'm hearing something about that, but no, nah, I never. Yeah. Never so I, I do know low dose, um, is definitely good and safe. Um, you know, you can make like five or 10 milligram, uh, right. peanut butter dog treats. You can infuse peanut butter pretty easily. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely might be something to look into. Yeah, but I was, uh, I was reading something about a month ago. They had, they was using, uh, cannabis oil on the mm-hmm. hot transplant. CBD, them CBD strains. No, this, they had a uh, surgery on somebody. Somebody was getting a hot transplant mm-hmm. and they was using cannabis oil to put inside their body. Oh man, hmm. I don't know. What? Yeah, I, I was. What you mean? What they was doing with it? The person was getting a hot transplant, and they was actually using cannabis oil, I guess, to, for liquid or fluids. I guess. Did he die? No. Nah. Oh. He's still alive. <laughs> okay, so it's, cannabis it's still hasn't of, killed anyone. Right. <laughs> and there's a lot of shit that come with it, cause nice. and this another thing, uh, the the. The biggest myth of them all, weed kills your brain cells mm. and all that. I was read while I was reading that, I also found out that they came up came up with a strand that helps people with Alzheimer's. Remember, mm. so I'm like, well, this is crazy. I yeah, man, I mean, not nah, like I said, man. We, we're a weed program. Definitely, a lot of these stories we hear a lot, but it all comes from these stories being heard now more so because. Of course, the internet and all that, but it's all come coming from now. We're we're being able to research the plant a little bit more now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They they still faking on it a little bit, but once we really get to that point where we could do full blown out research, man, ain't no telling what this plant could do, man. No bullshit, man. It, it could actually be the fucking cure to cancer the whole time, man. Right. Well, see, yeah, yeah. yeah. The funny thing is, the research has been done to this point through the federal government, you know, through whatever. University can research it. I don't remember the name of the university. But their mandate was to find out how it's dangerous. So they haven't been researching benefits. They've been researching, trying to figure out how it's bad. What they did was they tried to research how it was bad, right? And they fucked up and found out how everything was It was good, good about right, it. Right, right, they, they, right. They don't want nobody to they know. They right how fucked up it was and they had shit to say. Right. That's right. exactly they what happened, though, because uh, for the first time ever this weekend, I also went to the Washington Hydro and Adams Morgan. Mm-hmm. I never really been in that store, but I went there. Right? They have some nice plants in the back. Yeah, man, they do. They got some, <laughs> the store's nice. Period. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's clean in there and everything. Yeah. If y'all haven't been going there, man, check them people out. That store is nice, man. But uh, I went in there. and They got some pictures on the wall, right? All um, I guess what nineteen before prohibition. Right. About how cannabis was marketed, you know, the medicine bottles, okay, yeah, yeah. all that stuff, right? Like, man, we actually stopped all that shit dead on its tracks, man. Ain't no telling where we'd be at, like. Oh, if, we, if that shit would have continued. Yeah, like, man, you know what I mean? I mean? It could do everything from be fuel for your car to put clothes on your back. Hmm. You know I mean? And then it's also medicine. Yeah. <laughs> it could build a house. What else you want to do? Yeah, my man. Types of the plant is the hemp plant that you could use for everything. It's the marijuana plant you could use for medicine and, I guess, your recreational if you would. Right, right. Um, and I know I want to put this out there because I got this tip from um I've been wanting to use it myself from um uh 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 Clackamas Coop. Mm -hmm. You know he has a bulldog too, right? Yeah. So when he got you know he wanted to wash his dog uh dog up, he uses um. Um, soap nut, mm-hmm. soap nut, and I believe neem oil mix. 
things that you use in your garden. That's why I'm bringing it up. This is things that we use in our garden when we're taking care of our plants and stuff. He also uses on his dog, mm -hmm. you know, for he healthy coat or dealing with pests and stuff in, in the dog's coat or whatever the case may be. But, um, like, remedies like that, you know what I'm saying? I find fun, you know, like little facts like that people think do with their animals. That's um. And that's actually how I got turned on to uh, uh diatomaceous earth. Yeah, fire why they mix it with the soap nut. Right. Yeah. 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 And what's that tea 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 tree, tea tree oil? Yeah, yeah. tea yeah. tree oil. Like Stay away from the neem. Cause uh, what like I said, uh, uh, Miss Princess Peach just warned that she used the neem before it will have your dog smelling not so great. So go on. use the tea tree oil. The uh. I first used diatomaceous earth because of the um, you can dust for fleas. Okay. So they use it um, a lot of uh, rescues. They'll put small puppies and kittens in boxes and, and dust them with diatomaceous earth. Just cover the whole box, just dust them, and then they put in their food to clear them out of any worms. So that's how I got turned on to that. Does the same thing if you top dress on the soil. It takes care of you know any type of soil soil pest you're trying to cut up. And I you know and I'm glad we're talking about this. I know people are talking about this a cannabis show. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> We're growers. Me and Big Worm up here growers. And I know many growers out here have dogs in or around their garden, in their life somehow. <coughs> and you know what I'm saying? And people that are not, not even growers. But I know a lot for sure because I know I got some. I know I, 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 Big Worm, you got dogs. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're your companion in the garden as well. And they also protect your garden when you ain't around. Right. So... Let's keep it real, man. Let, let's let's show the same love to our pets, man. And let's go march for them, man. May 20th, man. I'm telling you. Uh, so before we forget and keep hitting this a little bit more, why don't we tell people where we can reach you and your folks to help put all this together, man, and how they can know more about the event that's coming up. All right, cool. You can follow me on Instagram, D E A M. Underscore P O O B A. That is my Instagram. Um, also, Cutter is, I'm not sure if his has an underscore in front, but it's, it's K U T T A M A D E K E N N E L S. And uh, Mike Page is like, uh, like L I G H T S. Uh, o U T underscore B U L L Y Z. Am I mistaken? Yeah. Z. All right, cool, cool, guys. Yeah, so, you know, if you need any uh, information about the route, uh, the day, the time, everything is posted on my page. Any questions? Their page, they inform you. Just reach out to us. We got you. So, if you could go and put that link up for me. Um, I'll put the link up in the chat as well. Um, it's live. It'll be live for the next 15 minutes. So anybody viewing the show right now, interested in getting an entry into the uh, sprayer, uh, the link is live. Um, you can see it on the screen. If you're in the chat, it's in the chat as well. Good luck. Yeah, and this is for the entry, right? For the Yeah, um, yep. so an entry every show. Entry every show. So again, y'all, what he's talking about, for those that just tuned in, or those that didn't catch what was going on, this is for the Chaplin giveaway right now. The Chaplin 1949. Check out my Instagram. We got the picture on there. Check out Cannabis DC. <laughs> Cannabis, just like just how it sounds. And um, check them out and, and, and sign up now. How you do it again? Let, let, so we could be clear. That's that. That's the link right there. Go to that link and sign up and, and put your name in the entry for the win. Right now. Right now. 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you got to wait to the next show. Absolutely. Don't miss out. <laughs> so, for sure, man. Um, I, I seen somebody in the chat ask this about cannabis and dogs. Come on, man. Let's keep it real, man. We, 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 we love our pets, man. You, you may not have a dog. I know you probably got a cat or a parakeet or something, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know, man, but just we trying to show love for our companions, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and dog is a major companion to some of some of our lives, anyways. You know what I'm saying? You know, I remember when I had mine. That's where you even think about touching me. That motherfucker tear your arm off. That's the only time he get aggressive. Uh -huh. 
You know what I'm saying? But that loyalty, just that man. loyalty, yeah, man. And and then turn around and could be so faithful to you and your family. Just love it. Exactly. So you know what I'm saying? You, you we, I, I feel you know it's only right to sh- show that love back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially if you like these kind of breeds. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it doesn't have to be a pit bull, but I'm a, like I said, I'm an American bull lover, and my my dog always got confused for being one of those dogs. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I can understand the situation and why they having this march. So if you have a dog, come to the march. Like I said, just to, just to, just so they can have a, a good outing. You know what I'm saying? Take yeah. your dog out, man. Exercise so when they get back home, they go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely going to enjoy the day. And everybody, just make sure you pack your bag. Please bring trash bags or... Uh, grocery store bags to clean up behind your dog. Make sure you bring snacks, water bowls, and be ready to have fun. Make sure y'all don't forget your leash. Please bring your leash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and thanks again for coming tonight, man. Like I said, uh, I know it's a little bit off topic, y'all, but it, it, it's my show, and it's a little note that um, touched a little close to my heart. So I, I wanted to put that out there. It's a little part of me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I had to. I was like, man, what? Y'all having a dog march? I I, I never heard of this, man. I got to put this on, man. For real, man. Right. We have all types of march downtown Washington, D.C. Like Every day about anything. Why not have one for our dogs, our pets? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um. And again, y'all have a few more minutes, y'all, to put y'all thing up there. Um, yeah, I mean, register to get your entry in for the win. And congrats, congratulations again, J Rock. I'm going to have to come up with a different method for people winning, man. <laughs> I can't believe this dude. <coughs> it was between him and Stoner D. And Stoner. <laughs> Stoner. <laughs> And now I took Stone out the equation. That's just him. So I'd have, I'd have took the competition out the equation. <laughs> but um, So, again, if you're just tuning in, make sure you enter. Get on it. Definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, again, thanks for the people that come through, show support on my channel. I'm going to try to work my way to um, bring the Tricone Chaser family on here. I know people hear me keep, keep hear me talk about them, man. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get them on here. Like I said, so we you, do we do things a little different. You were pretty sober before you started smoking on that. Uh, hell yeah. How are you feeling now, man? Cause man. it's pretty CB dominant. So I was wondering how you feel different, more. I'm a as a motherfucker, man. Word. I'm high. I'm definitely not definitely from that day, man. Mm. Hey, look, I'm up here trying shit with y'all, and I'm trying to get people to come try out shit with us, man. <laughs> Sounds good, yeah, man. Definitely trying out shit with y'all. Yeah, I mean, I, I get I get what you asking though, um, and I and I have been touching it. I, I'm definitely feeling the buzz from it, but I'm still, it's not stopping me. I'm functional. Yeah, it's I'm, nice. I'm, I, could do I feel I nice, do. relaxed from yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hang out all night smoking this shit all mm-hmm. day. Yeah, for real, for real. I'm feeling good. Shout out to the Reds for the cup too. <laughs> yeah, hey, let's take it easy. Feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um. The cup, you know, like I said, anybody that comes to my studio audience, we, we have smokes, we have drinks. Come enjoy yourself. Uh, you're, little, you're going to be a little late tonight, but it's all free. I ain't charging you at the door. It's Initiative 71. We can only give the shit away, so might as well come get it while you can. Because as soon as this shit go retail, yeah, I'm going to put a price tag on my shit. <laughs> but yeah, um... Thanks for coming on. Anybody that came on the show tonight, thank you. Thank you for letting us know about the dog march. <laughs> and um, you still have a few minutes to put your name to get into the entry for the competition. Next week we're gonna have a great show. You have another opportunity to do that again. I have another great giveaway, and um, we might be doing a different job. I got to come up with something a little more clever, man. I, I hear the people call my line and thank y'all so much for calling and trying to win. I just feel bad that y'all don't get a chance to win. <laughs> so we're going to try to switch it up and do it different for anybody else, man. So uh, I'm not going to stop giving shit away. We're going to have something every week, and everybody's going to get a chance at one point or the other. So uh, catch y'all next time next week, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Cannabis DC. Peace. Is that DC? Pop
Fama, that DC Fama, that DC Fama, DC Fama show. It's that DC Fama, that DC Fama, that DC Fama. Used to get my peace from AZ. Mary Jane is the case that they gave me. Trips from the West Coast stop real fast. DC Farmer show the masses how to grow grass. No till the method be attentive, slow learner. The raw sheets turn that gas to a slow burner. Big worm got the strains in variety. Jeff Sessions trying to fuck up the society. Cannabis community, rise up, eyes up. Fight for your right to light or eyes shut. Loud from the motherland. I'm getting high in stadium. Super gas, no clone, it grown with vibranium. Try coke chasers, cancel of the grow up. Self sufficiency, that's how we need our smokers. Alien dream, turn girl scouts into soldiers. Smoking those Contact if you come closer. Every Monday, 10 to 11 p.m. Focus on that grow, watch the show with your BM. Comedy, but interviews, real lit. The DC Farmer show educates real shit. The DC Farmer, the DC Farmer, the DC Farmer, the DC Farmer.